Welcome back, everyone. My light e wishes, otherwise known as e wishes, or just e for short. And welcome back to my stream. Donna. Let's do this. Okay, so don't remember what happened last time. We were up against the Silver Main Captain. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we weren't a able to beat him last time, but I have some. I did some grinding off screen, so I think we should be ready for him this time. And just gate. And just to be sure we're ready, hold on, I- Fights are like gambling, you have to choose- Clemency? Never heard of times now. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, sorry, that was too loud. Survival? Why? I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it! The encryption key! Quick, before we attract attention, let's... Attracted attention. That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. If we work together, we can break through their ranks. We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. If I'd known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose us. We're in. Oh, it's open! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dunn! Yes! Uh, I'm just wondering. Give me some time. Intuitive. Emergency fire evacuation system. Not that. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode. Who the heck added that? And they used one of my songs. Gear bridge control terminal. <laughs> Still found it. That's it. I've reset the energy system. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. Um, Serval, won't more Silvermane guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Yep. Then what's our plan? Well, either we reason with them or charge straight through the blockade. Let's play it by ear. Uh... Okay, and uh-huh. Well... Careful! There's a big guy up ahead! There's no other way. We'll have to fight. <laughs> if 
we can beat Svarog, we can beat this one. Let's go! Energy restored. System online. Certification enabled. Come on, come on! 40%. 65%. 85%? <sighs> we did it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. Perfect. Okay. We need to get to the front line. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Are you sure you can convince him? I've probably got a 30% chance. Or less. <sighs> Meaning it could end in a fight. Haven't you noticed yet? Most of our convincing ends in a fight. We need to be sure, Saval. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, Will you stand with us? Of course. My word is my bond. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Before our next expedition, I need Himeko to teach me some negotiation skills. Beating people up all the time is cramping my elegance. <laughs> I haven't fought with Japard since he enlisted. He could never beat me when we were little, but now... Serval, it really is you. Wait, Japard, listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet... Step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. <sighs> Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every- Enough, Serval. <gasps> have you forgotten where we are? We Landows ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Every Silvermane guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. Yet here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my Silvermane comrades in arms, hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Why do you think I've come here? We've found a way to dispel the Eternal Freeze, to seal the Fragmentum! It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kokolia? Why would you sneak into the Restricted Zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? Listen to me, Jepard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architects. The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy, that you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge, and that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. It's just... Guards, formation, arrest these people. We could be inundated with Fragmentum monsters at any moment. 
We have no time to waste on them! The forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Kokoli is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge, that the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end. Save your explanation for the judge. You are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard Restricted Zone. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. Resistance is futile! Seriously, that's so unfair! Move carefully. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all! Rules are made to be broken. Relentless. He just won't go down. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. That's why he bugs the heck out of me. That's enough, Jepard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. Even if I am, I won't yield. We don't need you to yield. We don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours, Sir Val's and Branya's. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Jepard, brother, surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me! Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Bronya. Lady Bronya. There's nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Main Guards, I am duty-bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. Final answer? But Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front lines. According to military protocol, if the frontline directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, a soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. Nice interpretation of the rules, dude. <laughs> For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. 
But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Belabog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Belabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends, I swear by Klopoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. They're not lying, I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the Underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the Snow Plains on the other side. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. Oh, finally. Okay. As soon as the restricted zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the Northern Fragmentum. So, have you made up your minds? We are ready. Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. Guards, open the gate. Oh dear. Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation! <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. For a universal peace. Here they come. Steal yourselves. Chuchapard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. This is only the first wave. They'll have reassembled soon. I have to. Hey, Mr. Silvermane, listen to your sister. I can tell just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. <sighs> Outsiders, Zila. The second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it! Huh? Uh, Sir Ball, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. He's my responsibility now. Besides, if I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. I want to go with you. I do! I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Stellaron with my own eyes, and now it's so close. But I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Get hold of the Stellaron before Kakolia realizes what's happening. We won't disappoint you. Hey, Marge, don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me. Say no more! We're good at this, don't worry!
Fragmentum activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Eurelo 6. Shouldn't we go down there, Himiko? <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is her first trailblazing expedition. How will she be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Are you bored, Welt? I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. Hmm. So you think they'll be safe, right? Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Relax. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little off site assistance. Is this the fragmentum Japard was talking about? Compared to this, the corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. How can we pinpoint the Stellaron? Serval said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Bellabok. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this fragmentum maze first. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like... like there are loads of eyes staring at us. <laughs> this place makes my flesh crawl. Like there are insects under my skin. We have no guide and no way of detecting the Stellaron. We'll just have to advance gradually. And cautiously. Don't be disheartened. The stronger the fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. Okay, yeah, we're all healed up. Oh, look! Up ahead on the ground! What is that? Be careful! Think twice before you interact with anything in the Fragmentum. This is... Bronya's! Could she be here too? Right! She must be! This can't be a coincidence. It isn't them. It must be a kind of echo. Some type of residual energy replicated by the fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like they went that way. <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. told me what this place is, Mother. Seven hundred years ago, this was Bellabog's northern border, and the site of an ancient battle. Here is where Elisa Rand led the first Silver Main Guards in resistance against the Legion. Now, it is nothing more than an abandoned corridor, filled with the sounds of old world echoes. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Branya. On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. Oh, Mother, do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. It... And yet... The crime of our ancestors was their inability to embrace that destruction sooner. What? From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. But 
the Stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle. This is the price the Stellaron demands. When the promise is fulfilled, Bronya, no longer will we have to squander our lives guarding this wasteland. You and I will witness the new world rise from the ruins. Okay, she sounds like a crazy woman. This is a complex mechanism. How did they get past? Ah, I knew this wouldn't be simple. Uh, wait! Wasn't there some big energy hub-looking thing back in that empty area? Let's go back and take a look. Maybe it's linked to this gate. <sighs> I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings. Especially this deep into the Fragmentum. However... However... There's no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Huh. Even Don Hung the Sensible has his adventurous days. It worked, right? It but looked like it. the gate didn't move an inch. Are there other units around? It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through too easily. Let's keep looking for the energy hub. Look! Over there! I think I can see the next unit! Oh, I see it too. Let's go. Are those monsters guarding the energy hub? Seems like it. Huh. Strange. Fragmentum monsters would usually destroy man made objects. This is very sus. Please tell me that gate will open. Please tell me that gate will open. Did you hear that? This mechanism must be on now! Come on, let's find the next one! Where is the next mechanism? Oh, behind that gate! There's no switch. We need to find a way around. I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, we could tell that people used to live there. Rivet Town is only at the outstretched fingertips of the corrosion. Now. Success! Another mechanism shut down! I want to ask you a question. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. Alright, close eyes and meditate. This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Kokolia, and the one in your body 
is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. Stellaron has already warned Kokalia. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? <sighs> yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Branya, beat Kokolia, and crush the Stellaron thing to dust. Closer to Branya. Let's move. Uh, are these echoes too? Yes. The fragmentum here seems to have made a special connection with Kokolia. It's repeatedly generating forms in her image. I don't understand. Even if the truth is as you say, every generation of Guardian has resisted the call of the Stellaron. Can all of them have been wrong, Mother? Do you still not see, Branya? There is no right or wrong here. Some of them acted out of human pride, others out of human short-sightedness. Our ancestors, including Elisa Rand, spent their whole lives trying to prolong this civilization. Then, after all fell still, their memories were scattered by the blizzard. They spent lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity, but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into the stars. To those entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above, a thousand years is but a passing moment. The attainments of insignificant beings, nothing more than a footnote. I shall not follow the Guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism. If persistence is futile, then one must choose a new beginning. But, Klipoth, the Preservation, are they not one of the magnificent entities you speak of? Is it not their strength that has sheltered Bellabog this entire time? The Preservation. Has the Preservation ever looked humanity in the eye? Nothing more than an arrogant delusion of the Architects. Oh, you will hear. The real voice of magnificence, Branya. Then you will understand my choice. Whoa, check this place out. Tables and sentry posts? There must have been silver main guards stationed here once. If there were, they left a long time ago. <laughs> There might be valuable information here. Shame we don't have time to look for it. Looks like another completely new monster! Considering where we are, it would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. I don't care how strange it is. It's blocking our way. Let's get it! This 
enemy is completely different. If I didn't know it was a product of the Fragmentum, I'd think we were fighting a human. Unlike those random low-level Fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind of its own. It seems to be able to use complex tactics. Look! Branya and Kokolia's echoes! They must have come through here. The voice is getting clearer. Uh, that means we must be really close, right? I sense that we're very near to the northern snow plains. This is where the first guardian led the Silvermane guards into battle. She made huge sacrifices for the sake of... temporary respite. But the otherworldly legion did not tire. She soon realized that flesh and blood could not contend with so ruthless an enemy. When all was nearly lost, she chose to set her sights on the Stellaron, and made the first wish. As for what came later... You know as well as I. So... The Eternal Freeze was a disaster brought about by a human wish? <laughs> Ironic, no? All the Stellaron did was answer humanity's call. And yet we kept its existence a closely guarded secret for centuries. Even going so far as to attempt to use it to control the Stellaron. <sighs> Woeful. <laughs> Laughable. It? Now, oh, something created using otherworldly technology. An inhibitor that a corporation from the old world and the architects attempted to use to house the Stellaron. <laughs> oh, I know you have many questions, my daughter. Be patient. Soon you will have all the answers. It's that shadow of hers again. But Branyas isn't with her this time. It's only a fragmentum illusion. Let's get a closer look. It feels like this echo is different from the others before. Intruders. Huh? Did... did she just speak? You cannot approach. Not good. March! Help the way! The Stellaron! Intruders! You go no further. Uh, are you I was sure not this isn't this. the real her? Move Kerry, it may look like her, but the Fragmentum can only create forgeries. Bring her down! Look at the draw. <laughs> the world has been promised. Oh, finally. <sighs> she disappeared. Upstairs. <sighs> It's the only way forward. Wherever they lead, it must be the end of the journey. I don't want to get to the end so soon. I want my journey to go on forever. This means that Branya is up ahead. And so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. It's all in our hands. <sighs> Strange. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid, but I don't. The only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. Is this how trailblazing expedition usually come to an end? Not always. Sometimes it's a happier conclusion. The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers witnesses to part of a grander story. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world, but 
There are always times when we have no choice but to act. Or to put it another way, this is one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. You hit the jackpot. I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections, but on second thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. Right on! But you can say whatever you like. A good adventure shouldn't be full of rules and regulations. Helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. This is the spirit of trailblazing. It's freezing here. The blizzard's so fierce. Now the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaron and the heart of the Eternal Freeze. W what is this? Oh, it's scary. It's like an insect trapped in amber. I bet the antimatter legion forces never thought they'd be swallowed up by the eternal freeze when they invaded this world. Huh, even in the ice, could these guys still be alive? I hereby name him March 8th. I'm impressed you can still think up jokes right now. from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. Does it look like the palm of a huge hand to you? If Kokolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage... We have to save her. The underworld... No. The entire planet relies on her. Resist, Branya. Accept the common will. No! I... I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya! A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. <laughs> and to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist, to cover our ears instead of hearing the call. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature, so difficult to efface. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you. The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. You wish. We're not going down before you do. Branya! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. 
But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself! All about needs you, Branya. All of you. <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here, Bro. Huh. I want to witness your choice. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the Architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. And the welcoming of a new world. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so... tangible. I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, then I would descend into torment, Branya. Enduring torment. <laughs> Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Branya, throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Choose, my daughter. <clears throat> Madame Kakoli. I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I... I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Hmm. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. Not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods, we are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you... So, this is your choice. I am 
understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? That sign! The fate of this city, of Belabog, is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. And you will become the foundation of the new world! You must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you! Rise, engine of creation! Just for you. Oh, there. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> and of course. <sighs> Keep up. My tempo. Let's make it quick. Take this. Engine, break them. Oh dear. We have to stop it. You still got time to surrender. Will you call it small? Okay. Try that again. You have the worst luck running into me. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Oh, wait, no. Follow! Look if you wanna win! Pitch Dark Hook the Great has a high! Big way! Big way! for the main event. Let's rock! Pretty good crowd today. 
Turn up the volume! Huh. Ah! What a lot, feelings! Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquer us all! Okay. Just for you. this world just as it dispelled the antimatter legion 700 years ago so too will it wipe you from the face of this world uh, stay alert wait it's just me here <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Let's go. Take this! Let's make it quick. Take this! <laughs> Humanity, so weak and foolish, always overestimating their abilities. Let me bestow upon you despair!
But I was fighting Kakolia. Why am I here? The last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? The commercial district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I... Go on, Jepard. I... I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum. What happened back there defied all reason. It was madness. Madam Guardian, if this continues... I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. We know well the consequences. Why do you hesitate, Kakolia? Isn't this what you've always been hoping for? Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What is there to lose? The efforts of our predecessors, their unfinished research. We can finally see them come to fruition. Give me some soldiers and I'll locate the Stellaron and find out how to save our world. You need to come to your senses. Serval. Come to my senses? What are you... Guards! Miss Serval is tired. Take her to rest. Sequester her lab and detain the researchers. Their work is illegal. Why, Kakolia? Why have you grown so cold? Serval Landau, you were my most cherished friend. There is no race in order to explore this new world. Madam Kakolia, the monsters are surging this way. It's too dangerous here. Themselves if we withdraw every guard. The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every Silver Main Guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. That 
a child? The city is drowning in tears. The power of the preservation is fading. We could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all. Running into me, 
pretty good crowd today. Let's rock! <laughs> Time for the old world to collapse. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move!
The power of the Stellaron is with me! We made a choice, you go are but cinders of the old world, soon to become ashes! Be the architect of a new world! I'm on guard. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. <laughs> this song's just for you. Keep up my tempo. With me out here, how can we lose? Choice, go fight against your <laughs> Try that again! Uh, pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Pressure! <laughs> Blazing expedition. We made it! But, uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll seal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Hmm. Huh. 
storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thank you. I'm... I'm fine. Don't worry. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are... So many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. Just tell everyone the truth. Can I really do that? Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. Tila, I... I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone knows it's a lie, but it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? Mother died to preserve Bellabog. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet... She decided to challenge its power, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical, and... Hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. Maybe we include some of the cool stuff we did? Sorry. I'll be sure to make it up to you. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness, evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. And discard my naive fantasies. Sorry, Sila. Please, protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Sila, can you tell everyone in the Underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... Administrative District. I need to tell Jabbar to... Serve... Huh? Are you okay? 
What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. Uh, she's exhausted! Quick, we need to think of something! Uh, you, help me out here! Jilla, take Bronya back with me. Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. That's settled then. I'll leave not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun... No. For Bellabog's sake. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. Uh, to pop the preservation. Uh, you drew the Amber Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? That's too much of a coincidence. She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from Nanook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. Oh! Take on a brand new path. Oh! Look! There's a big crowd around the clinic! Do you think they felt the effects of the battle just now? Let's go ask around! Okay. Natasha! Oleg! Hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them! You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Mm-hmm. You bet! You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength, and then... Uh, maybe she should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. Do you feel like we're counting the story down? The Supreme Guardian sacrificed herself to seal the Stellaron. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. Marge? <sighs> Kakolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? Ah, his mouth moved! We quite literally saved the world. <laughs> Through patting yourself on the back? Thank you. <laughs> I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. What about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia is no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? Hmm. She sees things through and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. You a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. 
That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Canison. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? Let's start with Puck in the Moles. Hmm. Roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly, <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. Those kids better not have taken advantage of the chaos to go on an expedition. Hook does always talk about wanting to go on a Rivet Town adventure. Ugh, oh, this could be bad. Forty-eight? Forty-nine? Fifty! Ready or not, here I come! Found you! You ran all the way out here just to play hide and seek? It's too dangerous! Uh, Miss March! <laughs> Didn't you go back to the surface? <laughs> Since when did I become Miss March? And where's Hook and the others? Come on, call them over! Uh, we just started playing! <sighs> Can't we finish this round first? Say no more, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> Seasoned pros, I see. Hey, it wasn't like I wanted to play. The kids forced us to. Uh, actually, I sort of want to go play on the swings for a while. I'll leave the seeking to you guys. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Gotcha! Huh? Grown-ups? Where's Julian? Ugh. So he is a scaredy cat. I knew he'd get someone else to talk to me. You should be happy it's us and not Natasha. If she had found you, you'd be in big trouble already. Hmm. I guess so. Anyway... I'm going to go find Julian. Aha, there she is. Hook! <laughs> Got you again! Huh? What, what the heck are you guys doing here? Oh, wait till I get my hands on Julian, that traitor. Where's his integrity? What about your integrity, huh? You brought the other kids out here to Rivet Town, didn't you? I... I did not! The moles hold a vote on all our expedition destinations! Gather your minions, Hook. We've got exciting news. Hmm. Fine, I will. But it better be exciting. Okay, okay. That's enough of that. Let's go and find Julian. Hide and seek update! Astral Express Crew 2, the Mole Zero! Hm. Celebrate while you can. Hide and seek is best of five, you know. Anyway, enough about hide and seek. You came all this way to tell the mole something, so spit it out! <laughs> do you want to do the honors? Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Hook. Julian. I wasn't expecting this one. Uh. <laughs> hey! Weep your tears, Julian! You're second in command! No crying in front of grown-ups! 
listen up. Starting from today, you are the mole's number one rivals. Rivals? Why the heck are we rivals now? What are you talking about? Hook and Julian always wanted to defeat the villains on the surface and take back our homeland. But it sounds like you grown-ups just stole their thunder, so... You think we're gonna accept defeat just like that? One day, the moles will be the heroes of the underworld and the overworld. Then everyone will sit and... Uh, sit and, um... Sit down and shut up? Sit up and take notice, right? Uh, yeah! Sit up and take notice! <laughs> uh, I would have figured it out myself. I need you to remind me. So that's why you were so silent. Hmm. If you want to be as awesome as us, you better start training every day. And start listening to Natasha. Training every day? Listening to the old witch? Will that really make us as awesome as you guys? <laughs> In that case, deal! <laughs> Jillian, Alina, let's run back to the town. Training starts today. <laughs> yes, boss. Understood. Uh, Alina, I can uh, give you a piggyback if you can't make it. <laughs> Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not gonna solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. We did all we could, now it's a matter of time. That's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Well, are you hurt? Let me take a look. Oh, is everyone all right? Thanks for your help. Face-to-face -face communication is more meaningful, don't you think? Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Branya doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Svarog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the Robot Settlement. Outsiders, for friends of Clara. Hey, Pratt. 
Perkins? How did you know that was Perkins? Sir, 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 thank you for rescuing Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Outsiders are f friends of Clara. Follow me. Visitors, Clara. Oh, it's the variables. Another nickname for the collection. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Sparag said it must have been. Recalculating. Conclusion Engine of Creation. 97.66% probability. Old friend of yours? The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Sparog, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the Underworld for the time being. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... But now... Mr. Sparog, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm going to go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. I know you will. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. Oh, it's a group message. certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it. You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way. After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? All of freedoms in the air. <laughs> I smell it too. <laughs> For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. Uh, return to normality. <laughs> so 
survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <sighs> this is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. <sighs> if you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. And when you're ready, let's go home. Finally. Finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you! The liberators of the underworld! You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Does this thing have a good safety? Plan? Relax, relax. In all my 20 years on the job, there were only ever... Uh, anyway, none of them were serious. <clears throat> so, ready to climb aboard? <laughs> Time to take your kids out for some fresh air. Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather round. The cable car passenger service is about to restart. Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling. <laughs> That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. <laughs> So this is... the overworld? The air here smells... different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. Huh, it's Japard! Is he here to meet us? Oh, hold on. He's... Ah. Still on duty. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. Let's go say hi! Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that on this planet! <laughs> the architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the restricted zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. Your sister knows what's up. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. 
Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Uh-huh. That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. over there. Is the address starting soon? Hmm. Looks like it. Branya hasn't arrived yet, though. Hmm. Let's find somewhere to wait. Guards! Formation! Whoa! This must be it! Citizens of Bellabog! I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. People of Bellabog, hear me. Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The Order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together, people of the Underworld, I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you were not aware of their arrival, but it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Branya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. March, Don Hung, and you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute, but I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. 
Are you fully uh, recovered? Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. that matters. I prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Hmm. Allow me to explain. Which means... The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. Sorry, we promised you. No, no need for apologies. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. The Astral Express will do everything within our power to help. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo 6 will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Worth celebrating, I'd say. On a scale from one to five, how would you rate this journey? Five. Two and a half. What? That run of the mill, huh? <laughs> My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? Time Wait, for a nap. what? way! We're about to leave and I've hardly got any decent photos! Come on! Let's go back to the administrative district and hang out for a bit longer! I'm scared. said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Really? 
You don't know that? Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. Here we are, Everwinter Monument. Photo time! Oh, Pela and Hook are here too. Let's make sure we get them in the background. tell you to not before <laughs> it's you three oh, come on in i was just talking to clara about you how have you been big sister mr vall's workshop is amazing there are all kinds of things i like it here a lot oh she called me big sister mr vall clara is such a well-mannered kid meanwhile the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old <laughs> Let's take a photo together. photo? <laughs> this feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Want to learn some cool poses? Gotta be a better shot than this one. Um, I was trying really hard not to blink. <sighs> we shouldn't have trusted an amateur. Hey. Never mind. At least it's memorable. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? <sighs> I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. The thanks, Mr. Vol. Big sister, March, Dan Hung, thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. Seriously, child, if you put have on time, shoes. please come back and visit me and Mr. Svara. <sighs> That's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. We can sleep when we're back on the express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on. Kimiko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do. Hello, wardrobe, my old friend. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. 
Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> What fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kuski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? <laughs> you don't have to answer that, but if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. Mm. We should be getting back to the Express. Time to find March and Dunhung. Sampo for some reason. You poor thing! I'll go check the lunar calendar. Today might be unlucky. Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. Uh, the conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go. Lasts forever. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the express. Hey, I'm not that heartless, you know. Leave your hero six and return to the express. Priorities? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? Uh -oh. Of course not. I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets? Parameters? You sure love your fancy words. Ugh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Zila. I won't leave you Look, Branya! <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Welcome home, you three. Himeko, Mr. Yang! Team Trailblaze, back from duty! Mission one accomplished! Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. How would you rate my performance? <laughs> I'd say it's a solid five stars. Get some rest on the Express. 
Urelo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is soon. That's right. That's the path of the nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. Uh, I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another, oh, hold on. that's I'm... exactly what I signed up for. Continue. <laughs> Looks like Marge has fallen in love with the way of the nameless. That's good to hear. You can head back to your rooms for some rest, or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. I'll head back to my room then. <sighs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation, you must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. While you were away, Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. Ah, home sweet home! Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. Where's our next stop? I can't wait! The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. We travel between worlds, like a thread weaved into the life stories of others. The universe is vast beyond our imagination. It's a miracle that our paths converge. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other can only be seen as the design of destiny. Thank you for becoming our companion. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. I'd like to talk about the Battle of Kokal. Sure. Oftentimes, those who are involved in historic events don't have the opportunity to see things from a wider perspective. I hope as an onlooker, I may provide some help. About the Path of Preservation. Klopath the Preservation is known for their... indifference. Unless you become a zealot like those with the corporation, it's hard to share in the Eon's power. Determined to preserve the world they loved, the architects held on for hundreds of years. But as the Fragmentum continued to advance, their already wavering faith started to show some cracks. And one particular guardian, Kokolia, abandoned the path of preservation altogether. In contrast, you stood your ground and proved your faith in the Amber Lord. Judging by how the battle turned out, Klopoth responded to your wish. Their gaze infused you with the power to wield the weapon of a Supreme Guardian and to take control of the Colossus. I was meant to thank you for your support during the battle. <laughs> Don't mention it. Welt and I may have stayed on the Express this whole time, but we've been watching over you from the moment you set foot on Urelo 6. Friends look after each other. The same goes for us Nameless. Please remember, no matter where you are in the universe, the Express will always be behind you. The source of Kokalia's power... ...is a Stellaron. There's no doubt about that. What I've gathered so far suggests it's likely that the Supreme Guardian was corrupted by the Stellaron at a very young age. All the tragedies that came after can be traced to that point. On the flip side, we can't judge Kokolia too harshly. Imagine if it were you or me who had to sit on the throne and watch the city slowly being brought to its knees. Would we not question what we believed in? Sure, ask away. We've got plenty of time. Can Yari... Uh -huh. Can Yari -yo 6 go back to what it was before the Star Wars? Well, maybe better equipped to answer that. But if you want my two cents, I'd say it's unlikely. I guess it's possible, but it would take a long time. I can tell from your report that the new Supreme Guardian of Bellabog is a smart young lady with leadership qualities. 
What's more important is that she now understands her people after the journey with you. The firm and honest support she gets from people around her will also prove immensely useful. But fate likes to play tricks on people. Even if during their lifetime they manage to make Urelo 6 prosper again to a certain degree, they will remain vulnerable and helpless to countless threats lurking in the recesses of the universe. We can only give them our best wishes from afar. What happened to Stellaron? It's virtually impossible to destroy a Stellaron. No one, not even Herda, has found a way to break its structure. The best we can do at this stage is to prevent its energy from overflowing. When the Supreme Guardian was defeated, the Stellaron that had been transmitting energy to her exposed its weakness to us for a brief period of time, allowing Welt and I to contain its power. That's about all we can do about a Stellaron. It may be suppressed for now, but it's only a matter of time before it regains power. But this brief window should allow the people on this planet to heal and rebuild. You're most welcome. Have some rest. You've earned it. Wait, doesn't isn't there another? Okay. Wait. So, your first trailblazing expedition has concluded. How do you feel? Be it joy or pain, success or regret, it's all part of the journey. Those feelings will accompany you as long as you tread on the trailblaze, and one day you'll grow used to them. It seems you have something on your mind. Let's hear it. I'd like to hear a fresh perspective myself. Uh, <laughs> as talkative as Himiko is, we've pretty much run out of topics. The Fragmentum and the Eternal Freeze, will they disappear? I'm afraid not. As I've mentioned before, the Stellaron's influence on Urelo 6 is more profound than we might think. I don't think Bella Bog's fight against the lingering effects of the Stellaron will end anytime soon. But the balance of power is tilting ever so slightly towards humanity, the crucial factor being the hope you brought about. As intangible as it may sound, don't underestimate hope, because the power it inspires has no limit. Like the Stellaron, it's a seed that, that may grow into something much bigger. But, in my opinion, the fruit that hope bears will have a much bigger impact than that of the Stellaron. I relate your view of the Stellaron's effects to Bonnie. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I think you did the right thing. It's better to move forward with the burden of knowledge than to tread a perilous road with blind optimism. <laughs> I remember a distant world where the people were faced with unimaginable danger every single day. But they saved their planet time after time with wisdom and courage. This goes to show how much of a difference ordinary people can make. I hope your Relo 6 sees that too. This mission would have been much easier if you were there. <laughs> I too wish to go with you, but Himako insisted on letting you and your friends rise to the challenge. I'd been observing what's happening on the ground from the Express, and I have to admit that I got sweaty palms a couple times. I was glad to see you three meet friends you could trust and overcome hardships. Well done. Himiko was calm from the very beginning. She kept telling me to trust you youngsters' decisions. <laughs> and she was right. I really need to stop worrying so much. It's been a nice chatting of you, Mr. Yang. Likewise. Get some sleep. We'll be heading off again soon. Too. Spatial readout. Back to the normal bracket. Star rail stability keeps rising. 
The numbers have stabilized. Dispatch the Express. Oh, welcome back to the Express. You've accomplished your Trailblaze mission. The Express appreciates your help. How's the Express doing? Thanks to you, the Space Fisher is healing up, and the Star Rail has become stable enough for us to dispatch the Express. As for the coaches, Pom Poms checked every nook and cranny and made sure everything's in good order. Oops, I forgot to bring you souvenirs. Uh, don't worry about it. Your Rillo 6 probably doesn't have anything worth buying anyway. Plus, it's your first time on a Trailblaze mission, so Pom Pom will let it slide this time. But don't forget next time. <laughs> the destination will be announced at the navigation meeting. For now, get some rest and stay tuned. Need to get some juice for Mark. Oh, Pom Pom almost forgot. There you go. Careful not to spill it. <laughs> Thank you, Conductor. When are we leaving, Conductor? Right away. To avoid encountering the anomalies again, the Express will dispatch shortly and head to a more stable area. For your safety, please don't leave your seat until the Express has reached cruising speed. Okay. the activity of the Fragmentum has reached the lowest level and the readings regarding the status of the Star Rail have returned to normal. Pom Pom will dispatch the Express shortly and will be leaving Urillo 6. Please be seated and say your goodbyes to this planet. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. <gasps> Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> you are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> of five people, three must pay a price. You are one of them. Hold on. I I'll, I'll be there soon. What did I tell you? He's definitely sleeping in. Hold on.
Sorry about that. The phone was ringing and it turned out to be just a spam call. I know you when those happen. We trailblazers can go days without sleep. But when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. Anyway, no point wasting our time in the corridor. The conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. Same old location, apparently. And we can't be late. Let's head over. Oh, by the way! You drew the short straw. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week! Morning. You're very punctual. And a wonderful morning to you, Inigo. Oh, I can't remember the last time I got such a polite response. The trailblazing of Eurelo 6 is drawn to a close, and the Astral Express must depart for the next planet. What's the next planet like? Not telling yet. We'll make an official announcement in the meeting, but I'm keeping you in suspense for now. The meeting will start soon. Passengers, the warp navigation meeting has officially begun. Firstly, Pom Pom wants to congratulate you, the nameless, for successfully resolving the problems at this stop. The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? It's time for your conductor, <clears throat> that's me, to reveal the name of our next stop. Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Huh? It's Kafka. I came at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? Apologies for interrupting your little get-together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a... Destination alteration. I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. Even if it was only on a Corporation Wanted poster. They were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Do you know the figure? Doesn't concern me. Then again, a Corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you... Astral Expressers and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron Hunter. It was nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person, and we can continue our little discussion. Have you guys heard of the Law Fu? The Xianzhou Law Fu? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Xianzhou Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? 
The Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst? Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? Is there anything in this for us? No! Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the La Fu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers, you benevolent nameless. Can you really remain indifferent to that? This companion of yours, Blade, he'd perish too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. <sighs> March, get done hung. I gave him the lowdown. Hey, remember what I said, okay? We're gonna vote against it. I'm not gonna take orders from that woman. Seems like the longer I spend in my room, the stranger things are when I emerge. March told me. If it were one of the other ships, it might have been okay. But I can't go to the Lofu. I'm forbidden from setting foot on that ship. Total interception of any attempt to enter the Dominion is how they chose to put it. So if you're planning on going, I can't go with you. I remember the Xianzhou was a sight to behold. Good luck. It's way too much of a coincidence. A Stellaron hunter shows up at the site of a Stellaron burst that just happens to be occurring nearby? Does anyone really believe that? Oh, I'm so mad. She just hijacks our communications and then hangs up? So rude. You used to know her, right? Was she always like this? I don't remember. We don't need another amnesiac on this train. Oh yeah, I just spoke to Don Hung. Here's the deal. We've all got to vote against. Doesn't Timoko have the final Trust say? Trust me, she'll hold a democratic vote. 
One for you, one for me, one for Don Hong. Three all together. We never go anywhere without a consensus. Are you okay, Don Hung? March brought you up to speed, I assume. <clears throat> I'm fine. And yes, I'm up to speed. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has occurred on the Sienjo La Fu, and that we're in the vicinity. If we head for the La Fu, we may have the chance to save many innocent lives. However, it's also possible that our Stellaron Hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. Neither Welt nor I believe that she's telling us the truth, but we can't just ignore the intel she's given us. So, we're about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. Three, two, one. I... Oh man, they're really making me do this. Uh, thank goodness there's a third option. Three against two. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Zhou. Didn't you say you were voting against? <sighs> I calmed down and thought about it a bit. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, then a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt. Now's the time for thinking about other people. <laughs> You're so capricious! All right, all right. I think we're all used to March's modus operandi by now. So, Don Hung, you want to stay here? Yes. I'm staying this time. In that case... Welt, ready for a trailblazing expedition? I know you've been itching to get out there for a while now. But make sure you take good care of the two of them. Don't worry. Destination Sienjo, here we come! The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one! Did March just stand right in the middle of the train again? ship? It looks even bigger than Eurelo 6! For the Xianzhou, these ships are their planets. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. The Xianzhou Alliance is one such civilization. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. You okay there? What's with all the lonely nostalgia vibes? <sighs> this is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. We have arrived in Sienjo territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. Welcome to Lawful Skyport. Skipping. Hmm? Please await transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Sounds like one of those automated customer service numbers. Hmm. Something's not right. The signal is still repeating, but no one is guiding us into dock. 
Maybe the Stellaron hunters were telling the truth. It seems like something really did happen to the Sienjo. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how, like, loads of horror movies start? Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. Please wait, transfer. Please await transfer. Please wait, transfer. Still the automated signal? Yes, it's still on repeat. Ah, there we go. The Jade Gate now opening. On behalf of the Sianjo La Fu. Welcome, guests from afar. Please proceed to dock in accordance with the guidance. Huh? Is this still automated? The signal broke off. Seems that's all there is. We should get going. Imiko, stay vigilant back here on the Express. Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. Trailblazers, assemble! Make sure you're properly prepared before you set off. You need to take extra care on this expedition. I've compiled some intel on the Xianzhou for you. I hope it comes in useful. Okay, I think I'm, this seems like a good place to stop. Okay. Thank you all for all, for whoever is watching. I'll continue this.